Hey, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 for moretesters.com. Today we got the performance review on the Nike Kyrie Hybrid. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Playing in these was kind of refreshing only because it literally gave me a refresher on the previous Kyrie models, what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them, and some things that I thought was interesting because I liked them before and this time around I just really didn't, or vice versa. One of those things is the traction. The traction on the Kyrie 1 I actually didn't have a problem with, but on this pair right here I, I'm not feeling it. I played in them on all of my normal floors and for whatever reason just dust is like a huge issue with these guys, even if it's a little bit. We dry mopped some of the floors right before playing as well and these guys are just sliding all over the place. Like I said, I did not have that same issue when I played in the Kyrie one originally. I don't know what the deal is or, or what it could be. All I know is that it makes me appreciate the next three models in the line, the Kyrie 2, 3, and 4 because the traction on those three models are way better than this guy right here. Now the cushion on these guys was something that I did not like in the Kyrie one. I thought they felt great the first few wears but then they just kind of got worse and worse as time went on. This time around I'm not as opposed to it as I was before. There there is still the rectangle zoom unit in the forefoot. It's not the best setup or anything like that. It's not the most premium thing that Nike has to offer, but it gets the job done and it does it well. And then the foam back here is very soft. That's the part of the cushion that I didn't like originally. And this time around, it just didn't bother me for whatever reason. I don't know why. So the cushion for me was okay. I would say that it is better than the Kyrie 2 and 3, but I still prefer the Kyrie 4 most. I feel the Kyrie 4's cushion setup with heel zoom is the best all around. It gives you plenty of court feel. It gives you impact protection. It's just more well-rounded in my opinion. Now the materials on these guys I was kind of like loving and hating when I first got the shoe but after playing in them I just love them period. The forefoot area is what I loved. It was everything from the Kyrie 3 which I thought was awesome. You got the really nice mesh. You got that flexible strip right here at the forefoot. Not only is it flexible but it's also breathable. You got the little fuse area right there for protecting the mesh underneath it. Yes the paint gets scratched off. I don't I don't care. I'm not wearing these casually so it doesn't bother me at all. In my mind this area right here did its job which is protecting the material underneath it, which is what I would prefer. I'd prefer the paint to get scratched off rather than ripping the mesh that's underneath it. And then the heel section was the part that I didn't enjoy. It was the canvas material that just felt really stiff when I first put them on. I just wasn't feeling it, but the more that you play in them, the, the better it feels. It was weird. It reminded me a little bit of the uppers from the Air Jordan 11 where when you first get them they're soft and kind of rigid not super rigid but just just a little bit but then when you started applying them it got really really nice and flexible even though it was form fitting around your foot which is one of the better parts about a mesh or knitted upper and canvas is kind of a type of weave and so it kind of mimics that but it's a lot stronger and so I just really really liked the back section of the shoe once it broke in like I said when I first put them on I wasn't feeling them I was like yo these things are stiff these things right here I was afraid they were gonna like dig into my heels none of that stuff happened they broke in really nicely and I ended up really enjoying the materials along the upper quite a bit. Now as far as fit, I would say go true to size, but like all the other Kyrie models, they run narrow. So if you're a wide footer, you might want to go up half a size. And to me, I felt like the lockdown was perfect. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. Nothing from the front, nothing in the back. The strap could have done without it, but because it's there, it just adds a little bit extra security right around the ankle area. So I'm not going to complain whatsoever. I just really dug them. I don't know what else to say. I think that these things are really, really fun to play in other than the traction, of course. Then the support is adequate as well. Inside the midsole, you have a small torsional shank plate. Then you have this denim covered heel counter right there. The heel counter is awesome. It works really, really nicely. Then like I said, that fit overall, I just thought was great. And I think that that really helps out the support. I would have liked this forefoot section to be just a little bit wider, but it wasn't a drawback. And then the tooling is actually nice and flat. So you're still pretty stable, which I definitely enjoy. Overall, if you're looking for a great Kyrie model to play in, I would still go with the four. However, this wasn't a bad shoe. It's just that the traction wasn't up to par with the other three models. So if you wanted to play in them and you enjoyed the Kyrie one, I think that you're going to absolutely love these guys. I think that Nike did a great job putting some of the best features of the previous Kyrie models into one shoe. So that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. I hope that this video helped you guys out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out quite a bit. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're interested in their price, their weight, and their score, you can head over to weartesters.com. Link is going to be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching once again, and until next time, guys, have a good one.